So let's take a look at the new defensive prime cores. So first off the bat, we have Onyx Prime. Now, those that remember quite a while back, we actually tested this um, in, I'm going to say about, I think it was a good launch of HQ-18, maybe or the launch of the Prime Cores. It might have been Phase 1, Phase 2, when they brought out the Prime Cores, the second lot maybe. Uh, I'm not too, too sure when, but... We tested this. I think it was just before Roadbuster came out. So Roadbuster wasn't available. So we didn't have many bots that could one-shot an MDS back then. I think SG Jetfire was available, but that's about it. And we had a lot of problems taking this out. It was taking two shots, taking a lot of points. And don't forget also as well, at this point, HU-80 has just been dropped. People were trying to level their bots to catch up. It was quite difficult for people because it was a uh, quite a big step actually in uh, difficulty. Not as big as previous HQ, but was still a considerable step. And so we sort of said, "Listen, this needs to be benched. This is far too powerful." But with the release of Roadbuster, it's made it super easy to take this out. And so the big question we've got to ask is, you know, what defense do you put it on? Um, do you put it on the MDS, make it really difficult to take out? Um, do you put it on maybe just a beam laser or something, but then you lose the Cybertron charge? So there's a lot of things that you could put it on, basically. But I think it's very good on the MDS. But the problem you've got is there's a lot of cores that I've got on the MDS. You know, you've got the Megatronus core, you've got the Vector Pro Prime core, you've got the uh, Onyx core as well. So all very good cores. But you've only got two. You've only got two MDS. So you've got to kind of make a choice on uh, what you want to put it on. And I like that. I like the idea that you can't put it everywhere. And like I said, you can put Onyx pretty much anywhere. But you want to put it on a building that makes it difficult to be taken out and destroy. A core does a lot of damage. But that is sadly the MDS. Next up, we've got Solus, and as you can see, the Solus core is level 1 on my test account. Because I tested the Solus core back when this was released, and it's had no changes since. So every 10 seconds, a turret is spawned with 20% of this building's health and damage. 20% is nothing. It's nothing at all. I, I honestly think that... I mean, even if you upgrade this, I'll show you. So as you can see there, even at max level, it drops a turret that has 39% of the health and 39% of the damage. Now, when you consider 39%, you're probably talking HQ-14 defense at HQ-17. You're not going to notice that that much. It's not going to do any extra damage. It's non-targetable, so you can't really kill it. So, it's not going to do much. I, I would go as far as say this is the worst Prime Core of the lot. And I'm quite disappointed that they haven't buffed it, really. Because when we tested it the first time around, we said Onyx was overpowered. Absolutely crazy. Absolute madness. So, so, so good. But then when we um, tried um, Solus, we said it was awful. It was absolute trash. And they haven't done much, really, to try and bring that relevant. And so my advice right now is, honestly, if you actually pull the Solus Prime Core, I wouldn't use it. I'd leave it at level 1. There's not many cores out there that are worse. It, no matter what defense you put it on, there's a better core than the Solus Core. Launchers, guided missiles, turrets, the ricochets, cannons, the high velocity. So... There's a lot of cores better than Solus for every single defense. So I would literally just stick it at level one. Leave it on the bench. I imagine they will buff it at some point. Because when you've got your playtesters saying disappointed with it, you've got your content creator saying don't even touch it, don't even level it, then they're also going to take note of that and go, we need to do something with this and improve it. So it's not a wasted pull, you get it? But I wouldn't be equipping it right now. I'd be keeping it in the back. And then lastly, we've got the Nexus Core. Now, the problem with this is that what they've done is, it is that it's on test account. I'm not too sure what it's like in the actual game. But they've not changed the description. So it's still the same description uh, that you have on the bot one. And as you can see, it's still got the bot emblem rather than the square um, defensive core emblem. But uh, if we have a quick look at the newsletter again to what it does. 
So Nexus Prime Core. So the equipped building deals. Let's let's say we're at max. Let's just presume we're going to max it out. So the equipped building deals 50% additional damage to your opponent's combiner. So you want this on a defense that's going to do a more a lot of damage to a combiner. So again, straight away you sort of start to think. I put on the MDS. MDS are a bit of a uh, combiner killer. But you can't put every core on MDS. You have to pick. Uh, your outpost combiner will deal 50% additional damage. That's a lot. But again, you, when you talk about... Not, I would say Skyrim will be really good with Nexus on defense. Because of the... Um, the four star ability is quite a bit of damage. Um, if you're using um, Computron or Lyle Kaiser, maybe not because it's more about the hack here. Yeah, they do damage afterwards, but the hack doesn't do damage as much. So I maybe wouldn't bother really with Nexus as much or as much focus on it. You'll see more, like I said, from Skyrain and Galvatronus than you will from. Uh, the other ones but i think god neptune and ruination you'll see a good uh upgrade but you're not going to show them on defense you're not going to put them in defense are you come on you ain't going to put them on defense because it's so good on attack so i think that if you are with this nexus core i think that putting skyrim might be a bit more beneficial with this um and 50 percent damage reduction for as long as the equipped building lives so that's why it's probably not a good thing to put an mds so we have this sort of predicament there where we want an MDS because we want to have it doing extra damage to the combiner. But if people are going to take out the MDS, uh, which most people do from the start as much as they can, then you don't want to put on the MDS because then it's taken out and the next core is not relevant anymore. So what I would advise is if you are going to put it on the MDS, have a layout where the MDS is at the back of the map, where people are not going to take it out from the launch pad. So quite front heavy in terms of damage to force people to drop their combiner with the MDS as far back as you can. Not like back of the map, but quite high so it can't be taken out from the launch pad. And then you can sort of take advantage of that MDS doing the extra damage. If you've got your MDS quite far forward on your base, I would consider putting this on a different defense, maybe even putting it behind the HQ even, just to keep it alive. But a decent core, like we said. Uh, and then the Onyx Prime, so it boosts attack damage and reduces damage taken by 30%, whilst below 40% health. And like I said, when we had this core, it was very, very good, to the point where we were like, it's too OP, but Robust has changed that. But you can only use Robust so much. You can't use Robust to take everything out. I think Robust is a kind of a must for on its core. Um, but you can't take out that and both MDS, really. It's going to get really expensive. So that's where you've got to start. Maybe changing your team makeup. And I like the fact that sometimes you've got to swap your team out and go, you know what, I'm going to put this bot in there. I thought about, like I said, I thought about SG Jetfire. He's not been in my team for a long time. It took about a year or two. I thought about Prowl. I thought Prowl might be a good option if he's got enough damage on him. Um, so much to test. But, uh, you know, these sort of things, um, you know, are good for the game. You know, where we sort of keep our lineups fresh. I've always said this should be freshening our lineups constantly. And with these regular upgrades, which we were promised but not really got, um, it can freshen our team up and freshen the game up a bit. So let's take a look at the Onyx core and how it sort of works out. So you can see there we upgrade the MDS. Bit disappointed that it's still the same colour, but hey, can't have it all our own way. We've got no core on it, so what we're going to do is we're just going to try and take it out from the launch pad as you would do normally. So first test, all we're going to do, SG Jetfire, set up, you know, no different than it would do normally. We're going to take out the MDS. Now don't forget, obviously, SG Jetfire doesn't just one shot it, it sort of hits it in three hits, you can see there. One two three there we go and then he comes back to the start but he does take out the mds oh jack prowl there by mistake so now what we're going to do is we're going to equip the new onyx core now what happens with this is because sg jetfire hits it in three hits the first hit takes about 30 percent health off so from around there second hit another 30 percent 
which leaves it at below 40%. So the third hit from SG Jetfire actually does less damage against the MDS because of the core. So as we see here, look, same again. So as we zoom in, we've got one hit, two hit, but you can see now Onyx kicks in. And you can see there that now it doesn't kill the MDS. And as always, what do we do? We put the MDS next to the Micronus core. And what happens? The MDS gets re-healed back up again. So you need a bot that can one-shot that MDS. Now, granted, SG Jetfire, level 10, 20, it ain't going to happen. He might get ability 11 which will take him over the edge, and he'll be able to kill the Onyx Core. Maybe it's a good idea. But as we sort of said earlier, we need to start looking at different options. So, if you've got Vector on the MDS, then obviously you can't one-shot it. You kind of can, but you can't one-shot it because all of a sudden it's come back alive again. you got the Onyx Core, you can take out with Road Buster. No problem. But if you take it out with Road Buster, then... How are you going to take out the Shock Tower when you have things like, you know, the Liege Maximal Core? You know, the highest HP building uh, in the game. So now we've got, we've got to take that out. We've got to take that out. We've got to take that out. And we need to do all three with Road Buster, maybe. So the big question, like I said, is trying to use SG Jetfire. Do we use SG Jetfire for the Liege Maximal Core? Uh, on the shock tower, do we use Road Buster for the MDS? Will the Micronus core leave a slither of health if we try and use SG Jetfire? Do we need a boost to take it out? So again, we're sort of in a predicament of having to use different combos, different techniques. But I never had SG Jetfire in my team. I was happy using Brainstorm, using SG, uh, and using Road Buster. But now with so many different cores. Will we see people then all of a sudden, like I have in my base, pulling these cores out from the shield gen to stop us from using a combo? And so you've got to use multiple one shots to take these out. I just think it's going to create a good change of meta. And I'm all for it, a change of meta. I love it when they do. So it's going to be interesting to see what we sort of people will sort of come up with to take out these Onyx cores. But I think that if we're going to see this sort of normal layout. Uh, of MD, um, MDS and two cores, something like that, with the age, my Cronus, and the two MDS. I think Brainstorm is going to make pretty much short work out of that, with, especially with a boost. Um, and I think that we'll start seeing people go away from this as much, um, especially moving the MDS out or moving the shot towers out, and maybe having two of those defenses in close proximity with my Cronus close by, but maybe not. In with the shield, and she can't hit it all at once. Maybe gonna be interesting, like I said, to see uh, what people come up with.